Hello boys and girls, today we are going to learn how to paint tints, which are adding white to a color to make it lighter, and shades, which is adding black to a color to make it darker. So you're going to have your paint here for you to start, it doesn't matter what color you have, but you need one color, and white and black to make your tints and your shades. Before you start painting, make sure you write your name up top, make sure it's legible that I can read it, and then your teacher code. So let's say that you are fourth grade, so I'll write four dash A for, let's say I'm in Mrs. Anderson's class. Don't worry about the date. Now, this box here, which is in the middle, so count out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there should be four on either side. I'm going to take my original color, which is whatever color that you have that isn't the white or black, and I'm going to paint it in that box. Now, to paint it in, I am painting a box around. Try to stay in your lines as best as possible. It's okay if you get out a little, but don't get too crazy. So there we go. I have my original color. Now, I'm going to start off by going to the shade side. Black is a color that doesn't get along with others very well. It becomes overpowering, so don't add too much. But what you're going to do is you're going to take some black from here and mix it into your original color here. And it should start to make it a little darker. And then I'm going to paint that in the next box. And you should notice already that there is a color change, that this blue is now becoming darker. So my next box needs to be even darker than this. So I'm going to get some more black, and I'm going to mix it into this. Now you should be using your own tray. You should not be using somebody else's. And you should be mixing into the color you started with. If you want it to be a little darker, add a little bit more black. So there we go. This one should be darker. Yup, you can see the difference. So I am going to, once again, outline it and then paint in the spaces. So what am I going to do to make my shade even darker? What do you think? What did I just do there? I'm adding even more black and you can see that my blue color here is slowly starting to get even darker. Okay, last time. And take even more black and mix it into here. If you want, you can add the rest of the black in there because it doesn't matter how dark it gets here. But you gotta be careful, like I said, about how much black you're adding because it can make a color go really dark really fast if you're not paying attention. Black is one of those colors that does not get along well with other colors. Now, if I want that to be even darker, I can just go back in and mix and add some more black in there and then outline. Okay, now notice I did not rinse my brush at all in between there. So now I'm going to take my brush, swirl around a couple times in the cup, wipe it off on the paper towel, and make sure that my brush is clean to start again. Tints are adding white to a color to make it lighter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some white and add it into my blue. Now if you notice, it takes a lot more light white to make that color start to change than it does with the black. Dip, dip your brush in there a little bit more to make it a little lighter more often with the white because the white isn't as overpowering as the black is. So I'm going to paint this in here, fill it all in, and continue adding more white to make it lighter. If you get to the paper and it's not getting lighter, just come back to the palette that you're using and add some more white in there to make it even lighter. Okay, last one, it might be easier to just take some blue 
and mix it into whatever white you have left over and then paint it on here and it will clearly be your lightest blue if you did this right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint, take it over to the sink or the garbage, whichever one I tell you to do, and then take your mat with your paper over to the drying rack. Have fun boys and girls.